Uh, first of all, some of the information on these forms uh, has been redacted. Um, I don't think that the hospital where these came from is responsible for this. I think whoever left these forming the tunnel is the one responsible uh, because the marker that redacted it looks to be the same thickness as the one that wrote on the folder itself. First form is a pediatric admission profile from 1995. Source of information is listed as Tim's mother. Uh, reason for admission, chief complaint is insomnia, headache, possible disorder. I have no idea what that means. It's really vague. Uh, he's listed here on an anticonvulsant as a seizure precaution. Right under it, it says he has a history of falls, which I'm assuming has something to do with seizures. pain history assessment uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 it says his pain is at a 6 um, from frequent headaches there's also an emotional barrier to learning I'm not sure what that could be filled out on the same day it's a pediatric admission assessment uh, first two chief complaints are the same headaches insomnia and a third one was it more specific than possible disorder? I don't know. I guess I'll never know. It's been redacted. Uh, down here it says, do you feel safe in your home and are you afraid of anyone? Apparently uh, answered yes at first, but then changed it to no. Uh, Alright, under... Uh, comfort, rest, and sleep. It says he's unable to fall asleep easily, averaging about four hours a night. Um, pain is still listed as a six out of ten, it says. Location is the head, duration two to four hours. Um, chronic, greater than six months. Aggravated by talking, I don't know what that could possibly signify. On um, the next to last page, near the bottom, it makes note that he ran away from home to some things ago. Could have been days, weeks, months, hours, minutes. I don't know. Uh, but it does say that he was found at Rosswood Park. Last page is a fall risk assessment uh, with checks next to confused, disoriented, hallucinating, and combative, and also uh, medical history of syncope, seizures, and postural hypertension. Seizures underlined. Next is a delayed therapy communication form from 2002 for a monthly session. Uh, only reason given here is patient or family uncooperative. Everything else that could possibly be of use to me has been redacted. Next is a brief operative progress note. Everything on it is entirely redacted except for the month and day, January 10th. And this symbol, which obviously I've seen many, many times before. Everything else gone, redacted. I don't, I'm trying to figure out why this one was in here. Was the person just trying to intimidate me with a symbol or trying to tell me something? Did Tim have some kind of surgery? And so, what was it for? I don't know. I don't know. The last form is a suicide or self harm assessment tool. Uh, Tim scored a 14, which was considered a uh, high risk. Uh, it says here, unwilling to contract or unable to contract because of impaired reality testing with hallucinations underlined. Symptoms, hopelessness, anger, or rage, and anhedonia, which I looked up and is apparently the inability to experience uh, happiness or pleasure from things. Uh, also, uh, replies were questionable, so who knows if he was lying about anything on here. And then under all those forms was this picture. It's kind of blurry, but it's of Tim and I. The night that Tim found out what all I've been doing without telling him. And it's written on the back. I don't remember seeing anyone else out there that night, but 
course, I wasn't really super aware of my surroundings after being punched in the face. There's nothing else written on the folder itself besides this on the front and this on the back. Nothing on the inside here. Nothing really special worth noting about the doll that was down there either. These forms and this picture. And that's all I get.